So some of the harder problems with two-step equations can be solved easy if you remember the hints that I'm about to give you in the next couple of videos. The first one of them is that if you have a parenthesis, you do that last. That's right, because in order of operations, parentheses goes first. So in reverse order of operations, which is what you do when you're trying to solve, it's the last thing you deal with. So in this example here, uh, you might be tempted to do the negative four first since subtraction is the first thing in reverse order of operations. But then you notice it's inside the parentheses. So you gotta leave that for last. So I'm gonna solve this in two different ways. But the first way is to literally leave the parentheses for last. And so if I'm doing that, my next thing to do, since there's nothing to add or subtract outside of parentheses, is to actually try to get rid of the three. And the three is multiplying here. And so I have to divide both sides by three in order to get rid of it. So if I'm dividing both sides by three, three divided by three is going to be one. So the threes cancel out and you have X minus four equals 12 divided by three, which is four. So now you don't, you have to cut, all you have left is what was inside the parentheses. So now you can handle it. And since the negative four is the next thing you have to get rid of, the opposite of negative four is plus four. So I add plus four to both sides. The fours will cancel out and X equals eight. So that is how you solve if there is a parentheses. You can do the multiplication and division first and then handle the parentheses if that's the case. And by the way, uh, I'm going to change the problem here really quick. Start back from the start. If this was uh, written like this, x minus 4 divided by 3 equals 12, that's the same thing as writing it like this. x minus 4 in parentheses times 1 third equals 12. So if you see something like this, it's as if it's like this. So you still have a parentheses problem here right, that you would have to solve. And you would start by multiplying both sides by, by uh, dividing both sides by one third or multiplying both sides by three to get rid of that. But I want to show you, though, a second way to solve the problem, the original one we just did, which is get rid of the parentheses by distributing. If you do that, you don't have a parenthesis anymore, and then you solve it like you normally would, right? So three times X is three X. And 3 times 4, negative 4, is negative 12 equals 12. And now they have written like this. You can follow normal reverse order of operations. Add 12 to both sides because you have to start dealing with the subtraction now that there is no parentheses. The 12s will cancel out. And then all you have left is 3x equals 12 plus 12, which is 24. Now the 3 you have to be get rid of. Because it's multiplying the x, I divide both sides by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. I always have x left. The 3s cancel out. And 24 divided by 3 is 8. And so we end up getting the same answer both ways. By the way, you still technically have to check to see if this is right. So just because I haven't checked some of the other ones that I practice, I'm going to try to see if you can do it. But see, you can do it this way too if you prefer instead of handling the parentheses last. Just to see if this was right, 3, 8 minus 4 equals 12. 8 minus 4 is 4. Parentheses have to be dealt with first when we are evaluating. So then you get 3 times 4 in it, and that is 12. 12 equals 12. I did it right. The answer is indeed 8. So when you have parentheses, you can do... Uh, Either distribute it first to get rid of the parentheses and then do normal order of operations dealing with the adding and subtraction and then multiplication and division. Or you're going to do the parentheses last and end up dividing and multiplying first. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense to you. And I'll see you on the next class. And if it doesn't, come see me in office hours and I'll help you out. One-on-one. -on -one. See you then.